What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another epic big time player pack review. Now, we are going to be doing specific training guides on the three of these boys because I do think that they are really exceptional players if you train them correctly. And I think the way they've been balancing the players lately is there there is a couple of wrong ways you can train the player now compared to before you know obviously when the game first came out you could just auto allocate and then tweak a couple of settings um, and it would usually give you the highest rated best overall and usually a very good version of the player but now there's kind of yeah there's a couple of tips and tricks when you are training up a player because it is more specific on the formation and tactics that you're using and I think that's gearing towards eFootball 2024 that when these players carry over, you don't want to make any mistakes. So I will be doing a training guide on Neymar and Romario and Ed Nielsen. So keep it locked to the channel for that and subscribe if you haven't. Anyway, we are going to kick off with just a little review of these. Look, I've played with Neymar since launch. I've played with Romario since launch. Once you've played, I'm very lucky actually, lads, because I genuinely would be spinning if I didn't have Romario. Uh, because I definitely think Romario is the best player in the game. That's just my opinion. Um, Neymar is in my team every single time uh, because I do have the other version of Neymar um, I've multiple versions of Neymar but I did get the legend edition of Neymar which we'll have a look at as well right but starting us off we are going to take a look at Romario okay now Romario is probably my favorite player in the game probably the best player in the game in my opinion and this version of him is extremely good right Straight off the rip, lads, you've got 80 tight possession, which is, you know, excellent. 80 finishing, 80 offensive awareness, 80 balance, and 83 acceleration. So, when you're looking at a player like this, right, especially for a fox in the box, or especially for one of your main strikers, right, if you are a player that likes to play a target man, if you like to play a tall striker, you know, you like to knock on balls or knock down balls, I like to use collar. You know, it takes a little bit of a different skill set and a different bit of practice to, um to use somebody like Collar or to use somebody like Benzema, like a deep line forward, or else Lewandowski, which is kind of like just an outright striker or a Harry Kane, right? But the most, you know, kind of like overpowered centre forwards in the game are versatile, mobile centre forwards that can play on the ground, right? Yes, you will get some uh, long balls scored uh, from, you know, like headers and stuff like that. But, you know, your bread and butter when you're down is going to be one, two passes, you know, flicking in, you know, running past the defender, getting on the end of the ball, being able to dribble. And I think Romario is probably the best in the game at that. Um, he's very similar to Mbappe. He's got a wavering form here, double touch. He's got cut behind and turn, sole control, chip shot control, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, first time shot. He doesn't have one touch pass, so I would definitely recommend to give that to him in additional skills we will get into that in the training guide as well i'm going to be incorporating that in based on feedback from me i'm going to be telling you which uh, player skills to actually add as additional skills right but when we actually go over to his player profile here on eFootballDB.com, we're going to see exactly what we're working with lads and this is kind of the ultimate um in my opinion version of him now it's not this one this is the max out rating version of him i think that this is the ultimate version of him here that we're going to see right because we don't need um because we don't need and as i said i will go into more detail with the training guide right because we don't really need to focus too much on anything but you know what we want him for we do want to max out offensive awareness and acceleration and balance and then finishing as well and to have those all in you know 90 or above is insane speed and stamina at 85 and 80 are perfect kicking power is perfect the low pass is a bit of a concern so that is obviously something that you will need to take into consideration i will do a training guide on it because there is a couple of little tips and tricks you can get um for a mario like obviously you're not going to get um you know the 96 or 97 overall if you train him in a specific way but there is a better way to train him than this which we will get into in the training guide which will be up quite soon Moving on, we do have, yeah, but it's a fantastic card, lads, an absolutely insane card, and definitely one of the best cards in the game. We also have Ed Nielsen. Now, we've been kind of spoiled for choice with DMFs recently. You know, you had the, the Pirlo that could play DMF. You have a lot of good players that they have released in the Player of the Week that are either box-to-box -box DMFs, that, as in, you know, they might be an anchorman or a destroyer, but they're able to kind of roam around the pitch and get in a load of tackles, break-up tackles. You know, you've got Davids, you've got Makalele, uh you've got a lot of those kind of players that are able to sit in the pocket like Busquets or like Pe um Rodri or Fabinho you know there's a wealth of DMFs in the game that can do a job for you right I think this guy is solid but I definitely think his main thing is um is going to come from additional skills if you throw a blocker and interception on this kid 
it's going to be absolutely insane, right? So he is an anchorman as a playing style, and he does go fairly nice with the stats when you train him up in a, in a, in a decent way, right? Now, there is a couple of um, issues with this card, which we'll get into, because obviously the first thing is that his pace is a little bit slow, and also his pass, his dribbling is, is pretty bad as well for a DMF. So I do think that he's a good DMF, but you are going to have to make sure that you train him correctly, right? So if you are to get the max out version of him, you need to go 12 on the defending. I think that's probably overkill um, because you're going to have to just like, yeah, you're going to have to like, we, you know, take so much out of his card that there is no real point in putting him that high. And I'd also kind of like leave that physical contact at 80. That gives you 10 extra points. Um, you know, speed and acceleration are both very important when you are playing a DMF usually. But for this guy, you know, I don't think that you can you can uh, you can actually put the speed that high because you won't need to cover a massive area of ground if you're playing as an anchorman. Think of him as kind of sitting in the pocket, just kind of, you know, waiting for everything to kind of break down and then, you know, put in a tackle or whatever. So there is a couple of different ways that you can train him. Tight possession up to up to 70 is very important. The passing that only goes to 80 with 8 into passing is quite poor as well. Um, But yeah, he's not bad. I mean, you've got 75 speed, 75 acceleration, and then 90 in tackling. 83 in defensive engagement 89 defensive engage uh, defensive awareness is quite decent but he is a difficult car to kind of train up lads i definitely think he is um one of those difficult cars to train up that you can make mistakes with him so if you do spin him um i will have a training guide up for him as well he's kind of a weird card but if you throw a couple of good player skills on him he could be a bit of a monster because the players they've been adding lately their ai and the way that they move on the pitch is is just ridiculous you know a lot of people say that about donadoni who i had a training guide out for yesterday from the ac milan um big big time pack as well so yeah now moving on to the main attraction well i think romario is the main attraction personally but neymar this version of neymar is very exciting um he is an end game level neymar i mean if you're a newcomer to the game um and we will talk about that in the other packs that they released and we will talk about it in our live stream later if you're a newcomer to the game and you get neymar like he is in your team sheet every single day right now this guy's got an updated uh face updated look obviously with the with the le with the last update and stuff uh unwavering form and he's kind of prime neymar so he's got the pace so the biggest problem with neymar and other versions of his cards right number one this guy can play left mid left wing amf and ss which is ridiculously ridiculously overpowered right so i'm going to show you the version of him that i have in a second he doesn't have one touch pass that's the only thing and uh, no real version of Neymar has one touch pass so that is something that you need to actually add to him if you're playing him as an AMF and even I would say as an LMF or a left wing um he can't play right wing either which is a bit of a pity if you like to be you know kind of fluid in your um like tactics of formations of switch wings uh if you want to do that but yeah genuinely stick him on the left wing and he's probably the best winger in the game especially this version of him it's it's an insane version of him right so when we actually take a look at him here, this, this guy has multiple ways of training him, right? You can train him to be a striker, you can train him to be an SS, you can train him to be an AMF. And this version of him here that we're looking at is the 98 version of him, which is a left winger by trade, right? So we're not really focused on anything else, but we still have 95 ball control, 94 dribble and 92 tight possession, 92 free kicks with 88 curl, low pass at 75, which is a lovely little um, stat for him to have as a winger. And then it's all about the acceleration and balance at 93 and 90 with 88 speed. I mean, this this card is literally absolutely insane. I mean, if you throw no, if you throw a couple of really good player skills on him as additional skills and train him, he is probably the best, one of the best players in the game. And he just handles so well on the pitch as well. You can cut in with him, you can cross with him. Um, you know, obviously he's not going to be as good a crosser as the likes of Beckham or somebody like that who's a specialized crosser or Trent. But you can, you know, you can cut in with him. You can get a lot of nice stunning passes with him, even though his passing isn't that high. He just seems to handle better than most players on the pitch. Now, I would genuinely recommend recommend to play Neymar as an AMF, and I'm going to show you why in the training guide. But yeah, from here, I think he's he's insane, man. I mean, you can just train him in so many different ways. Like even if you were to just leave the dribbling at that, and you're to leave the the balance at like 88 and 91 acceleration you know, then you can train him up to have 79 finishing, or you could train him up to have 80 passing if you wanted him as an AMF, um, you know, with 74 finishing, if you don't want any finishing, you know, you can add it to, um, you can add it to pass and have him at 90 lofted pass for long range passes, like there's just so much scope that you can have with Neymar, so 
yeah lads that is it for me we'll be back with the training guys first up will be Neymar and then we'll work our way with Romario and Ed Nielsen but let me know what you think are you going to spin or skip let me know about the packs and I will see you guys later in the live stream